And here we are foam rolling the side of the shoulder, the middle deltoid. We first employ an up and down motion, right? Going from the head down towards the legs, okay? Pay attention how the athlete uses her body here, in particular, her legs and her support arm, her left arm, right? She leverages her body weight in such a way to get it up on top of the foam, right? And that's important because of direction of force. She needs to get the shoulder down on top of the foam to get through the muscle fibers to find out those restrictions. Our second range of motion is gonna be forward and back towards the front of the body and the back of the body, right? We gotta go cross fiber to flush out any other restrictions we couldn't find through our first range. Now for some of your smaller athletes, right? Uh, the distance between the foam and the ground is gonna be a little greater, right? So they really have to be encouraged to get their bodies up on the foam, which means they're gonna to have to use their legs a little bit more. Again, this is great. And the thing I love about the foam roller is that it encourages athletes to use their body uh, and have to manipulate their body weight in such a way that all these little stabilizers get worked in ways they really can't work through tradi traditional movement patterns. This isn't a great example. You can just see how your body weight is just laying into the middle deltoid area here. And you can tell she's enjoying it. <laughs>